Hi guys, welcome back to Gentleman's Corner. My name is David. Today is another fantastic Friday, <clears throat> and uh, more than anything, it's my first video officially back on the channel since coming back from my honeymoon. So it is a very fantastic Friday. Uh, tomorrow will be three weeks since I married the love of my life. Um, so very, very exciting times, but it has been absolutely hectic since we got back. We got back from the honeymoon about a week about a week ago, and uh, things just have not stopped since we got back. Uh, otherwise, I would have been making more videos. Um, one of the things that uh, had come up was when I came back, uh, I posted this on, I think, Twitter. Um, my, I had asked my dad to mow the lawn uh, at our house so that it wouldn't get too overgrown by the time that I got back. Well, <laughs> It rained the two days that he was available to do it, and for many of you, you know you can't cut wet grass. So I come back, and my backyard is just this virtual jungle of grass. Uh, it was about that high, uh, and for those of you who don't have the scaling, that's about a foot. Um, so it was about six or eight inches overgrown. Uh, at that point, which is just ridiculous for two weeks. Um, but I had already neglected to cut it before leaving, so it had been about a month. Um, and, and it was just absolutely horrendous. I lit up a cigar and uh, went ahead and started mowing, and about halfway through, I ran out of gas. So, and uh, actually, that's metaphorically, I have an electric mower. Um, as opposed to a combustion gasoline mower. And uh, so I had to wait for the charge to come back up in the battery, which was unfortunate. But it means I got to smoke two cigars in a day. So, give or take. Um, but it was beastly, beastly hot. And it has been beastly, beastly hot here in Texas uh, for the last several days um, where I'm at. We had three or four straight days of 100 plus uh, heat. So it, it has been crazy between that, job searching, getting the house back put together. Uh, it's just been, it's been crazy. Um, so unfortunately I haven't had the kind of time for the channel that I had been wanting to have. So, um, but as of right now, I'm currently not employed. Um, I'm currently sending out resumes and cover letters and whatnot to different people. But in the meantime, that gives me a little bit of time to uh, do some videos and hopefully get a backlog that I can upload in case things get busy again um, that I can continue to use. So as I said in, was it last week that I posted a video? Uh, just kind of updating everything on the channel. Uh, recently, I posted a video uh, where I had said, because of the heat, uh, I won't be able to post any new tobacco-related content um, while I'm waiting for temperatures to get off peak. Because <laughs> uh, right now, it's, you know, days are 100 plus, so afternoons and evenings are in the mid to upper 90s still. Uh, and I'm still waiting to build a canopy over my back deck so that I can get a little bit of the shade. Um, so th there are still things in the works right now that I'm, I'm working towards doing more tobacco related products, um, especially because I have a couple of new things that I'm going to show you today that I got while I was on my honeymoon um, that I want to talk about on the channel at some point. The first is this right here, and this is, it's kind of hard to see. This is a new pipe that I got uh, while I was in the UK. This came from a tobacco shop on St. James Street uh, called James J. Fox uh, Purveyors of Fine Cigars. Um, they also have a branch in Harrods and a branch at Selfridges. Uh, but this one I actually bought at their St. James location. So this is just one of their basket name pipes. Um, it's, it's a briar and it's stamped with, um, you can't see it. I posted pictures on my Instagram and on Twitter 
This is a James J. Fox London pipe. So really cool. What was really neat about the, uh, the Regent Street store is it was right down the street and up the street from both Davidoff of London and Dunhill Tobacco of London. I didn't go into either one of those shops just because I was already running on a tight schedule and on a tight budget. Um, this was my entire budget for tobacco was this and the thing I'm gonna show you next. So unfortunately, I didn't go into either one of those shops because I know myself, I'm an impulse buyer. I also cave to peer pressure sometimes, so if there's a salesman that's kind of watching me closely, it makes me want to buy, uh, if only for the fact that I feel like I should be buying if I'm in the store. So um, but let me show you the other thing that I got. I got this, I got two of these as a little treat for myself. As you know, I'm from Texas, that means I'm in the United States, which means I can't get Cuban cigars unless I go to Cuba or go to a jurisdiction where they are legal and bring them back. Now this is what I got while I was there. This is an El Rey del Mundo Habana. And uh, I'm trying to remember, the, the salesman told me what the name of this particular size is. And this is the most inexpensive Cuban cigar that James J. Fox carries. It was also all that I could afford because each of these sticks, and they're only about three and a half inches long and maybe a half inch in diameter. Each of these sticks was seven pounds 50, which at the time I was in London translated to about $10 a stick for these guys. Um, now part of that is because of UK import taxes, part of that is because Cuban cigars are taxed by the Cuban government in Cuba before they are exported as well. So Cuban cigars are double taxed when you buy them in the UK. Um, I wanted to get a Romeo Julieta, uh, one for me and one for my best friend, and uh, unfortunately just one of those was $20. Um, and I just, I did not have it in the budget to be able to do it, but I bought one for myself and one for my best friend. And Nick, if you're watching this, I swear to God, I will kill you for ruining your own surprise. <laughs> so, but these are pretty legit. Um, I've reached out to a few people asking about them, uh, about the El Rey de Mundos, and everyone has said, it's, it's a fine cigar, you did okay, you know, don't sweat it. They're not cheap tobacco um, the way that, you know, if you were to buy something really cheap here, like a two or three dollar stick. So that was nice to find out. <clears throat> but uh, my goal is to at least smoke the two or the one that I have and then give my, my friend the other one um, and see what he thinks because neither one of us have ever gotten the opportunity and I don't think either one of us will ever go to Cuba. So pretty interesting stuff. Uh, so yeah, so getting back to uh, the channel, I am going to offer, next week I'm doing a whiskey review. I've, I've decided that is the video I am doing. Uh, and I would like to offer my viewers a very special treat I'm going to cave to your opinion. I'm gonna give you two options, and I want you to vote in the comment section below which whiskey you wanna see me review next. Now these are just a couple of whiskeys out of the about 30 that I own bottles of. Um, but I thought these two would be very interesting um, that they are more or less uh, popular for different reasons, but very interesting nonetheless, and I thought they would make good episodes. The first is the Glenlivet Ndura. Now, Ndura um, is a natural, let me see, this does not use a chilled filtration. So where most whiskeys are at 40, 42, 48% ABV, this is at 61.5% ABV. So this is a pretty strong whiskey. Um, I have opened it, I have had some of it. Um, this was a birthday present from my, my best friend. 
and it will kick you in the teeth. I mean, it's a very strong whiskey, uh, but I won't say anything more about it pending a review. The second is based on the fact that my most popular video here on YouTube was actually my review of the Kingsman props uh, that I posted several months ago where I reviewed the prop replicas of the Kingsman glasses and the Kingsman fountain pen from the Kingsman movie series, Kingsman Secret Service and the Golden Circle. In the Golden Circle, they make a whiskey for Kingsman, and that is what I have here this is the Old Forester Statesman Whiskey. This was made by Old Forester to commemorate the Kentucky Bourbon <coughs> Statesman that is used in the movie. In fact, Old Forester made this specifically for Kingsman. It comes with the Kingsman logo, uh, the Statesman logo on top. It's a very, very nice whiskey. I've had a couple of glasses, as you can see. Um, the proof line, I want to say, was up about here or so. So I've had a few glasses. Um, this is a limited edition whiskey. They only made so many bottles of this. I'm lucky enough to have one. Um, you can still get them in some places around the country. Um, I know that there's at least one store in my town that still has five or six bottles left. But the rest of them have completely run out. So, But I thought it'd be a fun uh, item to potentially review. So I'm going to leave that up to you. Old Forester Statesman versus the Glenlivet Nadura. So we'll put those away. So in the meantime, normally I have a theme for uh, the, the videos when I post a Fantastic Friday. I normally have some kind of theme or some kind of topic to discuss. I really don't have a topic this week. And part of that is just it's been so hectic recently that there's nothing for me to really philosophically wax on about for your pleasure, um, which is unfortunate, um, but c'est la vie, such is life. So um, really, that's all I've got for you today. There's nothing on Twitter for the Ask Gentleman's Corner. Um, for those of you who are viewing me for the first time, if you have questions about me, about pipe tobacco, about cigars, or anything else, uh, fountain pens, etc., etc. Uh, feel free to get on Twitter and tweet me. Um, tag me at Gentleman's Corn and then the number one. I don't know why it came out that way, but it did. Um, I'm going to see if I can fix that at some point uh, so that I can maybe make it make a little bit more sense. But use the hashtag, hashtag Ask Gentleman's Corner, and uh, whatever is posted by Thursday at about 8 p.m., I will go ahead and answer. That's 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, America. Um, Whatever is posted on there, I will answer live here on Fantastic Friday uh, every week. So that's an option for you. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit like. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, you might consider hitting that notification button down there by the subscription button. It looks like a little bell and it will ring anytime that I upload a video. Other than that, guys, my name is David. This has been a fantastic Friday on Gentleman's Corner. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. And other than that, have a good one. Yeah.